Claire and Rania is asking, what happened? What happened was, third world internet problems. Good morning, Cyrene. Yes, internet problems, third world internet problems. Hi, Seb. Hello, Peppy. Hello, Bambi. Hey, Joshua Caleb is ready to rock and roll. Hello, Mia. Anne is asking what happened. It's third world internet problems. Marami nagtatanong ano nangyari. Ang sagot ko dyan, third world internet problems. Good morning, Isabel. Hello, Jet and Georgina. Hello, Sana. Hello, Bugay. Is there no sound? Hello, Siza. Good morning, Mitch. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Good morning, Saia and Tala and Marielle from Kuala Lumpur. Is there no sound? Hello, RJ and Jaden. Why is there no sound? Good morning, Mitchell. Hello, Josh Patatas. Hello, Ruby and Tina. Good morning, Sana. Anne is asking why is there so sound. Therese is here from Singapore. I don't understand. Is there sound or not? Third world internet. Problems. Third world. Internet problems. Good morning. Okay, guys, get out of here. Okay. Okay. So, as I was saying, I was congratulating everyone for sending their artwork. Let's start doing our artwork for today. We don't have much time. We're going to use some paper and a pen and if you've got a marker that would be handy and if you've got some coloring materials like a crayons or coloring pencils so ang kailangan natin ngayong umaga papel ball pen kapag may marker kayo gamitin natin yan tapos kapag Meron kayong pangkulay like um, drawing pencils. Where are my drawing pencils? I've got some markers over here. Pero yun, kapag wala kayong marker, okay lang yun. Um, I'm going to look for my drawing pencils. It's somewhere here. I'm gonna look for it later. Where are they? Where are they? I found them. I have some drawing I have some drawing pencils. I'm gonna use them later. So kapag meron kayong pangkulay, gamitin natin yan mamaya. Okay. Simula na tayo. Ngayong umaga, di ba dati, hindi ko alam kung nandun kayo, yung isang araw, gumawa tayo ng portraits. Ginawa ko yung portrait ni, ni Ate Lucy. Today, what we're going to do is a self-portrait. Do you know what that is? Self-portrait. 
yung idodrawing natin, yung ating sarili. Simula na natin, okay? Are you ready? So dito sa gitna ng papel, here at the center of the paper, I'm going to start drawing my my myself. It's a self-portrait. I'm going to use a marker. So, whenever you're doing a portrait, I remember I would tell you always uh, think of what the person looks like. So this time, you're going to think what you look like. So, ngayon, dahil gagawan kayo ng, gagawa kayo ng portrait ng sarili ninyo, pag-isipan ninyo kung ano ang inyong mukha. Okay, simulan na natin. Okay, gagawin ko ng uh, mabagal sana para pwede kayong sumunod. So, gumamit ako ng marker. Ito yung parang mukha ng yung ila, uh, this is the lower portion of my face. It's my chin. Do I have a round face? Not so much, but I guess this will do. So, start doing that. Korte ng iyong mukha. Yung pang ilalim. Tapos, Hello, Jesse and Mama Bell from Albay. Hello, Anel Joe. And Marcus. Yes, we're going to do a self-portrait, Jenna. Shane saying, Sandali lang, pupunta muna akong banyo. Winka is saying, I'm, I did a realistic face of myself. Wow, Jenna. Wilma is saying, Can I make my own? Yes, you may. All right. Dito sa kabilaan, ano yung drawing natin? Tenga! Ears! How many ears have you got? Three? Three? Five? Six? Twenty-seven? I have two ears. And so, are my ears big or small? I think my ears are kind of normal. So, I'm going to draw kind of normal ears. Not so big. Not so small. Do you have ears? If you have 28 ears, you have to draw 28 ears. If you have 15 ears, you have to draw 15 ears. Someone is asking, pwede ba akong gumamit ng pencil? Yes, you may! Hello, Anel, Joe, and Zia, and Sila, and Maan. Maan is saying, this art class is crazy! Sorry about that. Must be the teacher. Sa gitna ng mukha, ano drawing natin? In the center of the face, what are we gonna draw? A nose! All right. Ask yourself, do I have a big nose? Do I have a small nose? So I'm asking that of myself. I think my nose is pretty normal, not so big, not so small. And you can draw your own kind of nose. There you go. Ha! America of Texas is asking, 15 ears? Are you serious? Well, who knows? Maybe there's someone with 15 ears out there. Hello, Jiva and Riley and Lippy. Hello, Jenna. Jenna, 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 Jenna. Jenna says, I want you to say my name. Jenna, 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 Jenna. Apple is asking, can I draw my own face? That's the point. You're supposed to draw your own face. Nathan says, I have a hundred. There you go, see? Someone's got a hundred ears. That's a lot of ears. So, dito naman, ano yung drawing natin? Magkabila. Mata. Meron akong dalawang mata. 
Ilan ang mata ninyo? How many eyes do you have? Tell me. Do you have one eye? Four? Sixteen? I have two eyes. So I'm asking myself, do I have big eyes? Do I have small eyes? Do I have eyes that smile? I have eyes that smile. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw smiling eyes. Smiling eyes. Smiling eyes. Smiling eyes. Smiling eyes. Marielle is asking, should I look at the mirror? That's a really good idea. If you have a mirror, kapag meron kayong salamin, magandang idea yon tumingin kayo sa mirror. That's a really good idea. Fiona has two eyes. Hey! We've got the same number of eyes. Good morning, Drake. And Aji is here. Aji, please ask permission from your parents if you can watch this crazy art show. Hello, Chloe of Das Marinas. Okay, how about here below the nose? What am I gonna draw? I'll give you one guess. A mouth. Magdrawing tayo ng bibig dito sa ilalim ng um, ilong. Tapos tanungin uli natin, ano yung bibig ko? Malaki ba yung bibig ko? Parati ba akong nakasimangot? Am I always frowning? Am I always smiling? Am I always shouting? You know what? Teacher Robert is always singing. And so I'm going to put a singing mouth. La 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 la. And since my mouth is open, you could see some, uh, some teeth of mine. And a bit of my tongue. It's a singing mouth. La, 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 la. I'm so famous for my singing. Let me just put the words. La, la, la. Do you guys think I should change my career? I should be an opera singer instead. What do you think? Kim says, I have a thousand zillion eyes. Clarice says, I am four-eyed because I wear glasses. Merica says, I have two eyes. Hello, Andre. Okay. So everyone start to draw your mouth or sa Pilipino. Drawing ninyo ang inyong bibig. Pearl says, he looks like he works in the opera. Well, I still have to make my application to work in an opera. All right. Some people have glasses. Guess what? Teacher Robert's got glasses too. So I'm going to put some glasses. So if you don't wear glasses, you don't have to wear you don't have to draw glasses, okay? That's glasses. Alright. So ang susunod na man, naman natin gagawin. Ano yung drawing natin dito? Buhok! Here! Alright, it's time to think. Or if you have a mirror, kapag meron kayong salamin. Tingnan nyo yung inyong buhok. Take a look at your hair. Is it long? Is it short? Is it curly? I'm going to draw my hair. I know my hair is kind of... You know what it's called? It's kind of scraggly. Especially, I haven't gone to the barber in a little while. It's kind of scraggly. Normally, I go to the barber like almost every month. 
I haven't gone to the barber. Hello, Zedlium! Clovis says, I have two eyes. That's a good number to have for eyes. Hello, Brian. Kathy says, I have girl hair. Okay, draw girl hair. Guess what? Teacher Robert's hair is colored gray. What do you think of that? I love the color of my hair. It's gray. It reminds me of the color of my dad's hair. So scraggly gray hair. I love my hair. Even though I haven't gone to the barber in a while, I still love my hair. How do you like that? Hello, Sophia. Haley says, is this a warm-up? No, it's not. Aria's hair is straight. Cole says, I have scruffy hair. I have scruffy hair too, Cole. Hello, Fien. Yes, Louis says, can I put a hat? Yes, you may. GM says, my hair is going down. And Candy says, my dad has an iPhone 11. What does that have to do with our self-portrait? Agua says, I have eyeglasses. And JM of the Philippines says, eyes, hair, mouth, check, check, check. Hello, Winka. How old are you? Says Emmy. She, Emmy is asking, how old am I? I'm going to tell you in a little while because that's part of our project. Okay. I'm going to draw my neck over here and part of what I wear, I normally wear a shirt and maybe I'll put like a, I'll say hello, hello, or more like la la la, oh my gosh, I look good, don't you think so? Hello, Rona. Hello, Annabelle and Annika and Aiden and Max. Hello. Maya's phone is paused. Third world internet problems. Hello, Vanessa and Anna and Adriana. How are you doing? While you're still drawing, are you still drawing? Are you still drawing? Did I draw too fast? So I'm like coloring a bit while you're still drawing. So I'm using colored pencil. So habang nagdo-drawing kayo, nagkukulay ako ng drawing pencil ng kaunti. I want to color my shirt. Maybe an orange striped shirt would be nice. Even though I'm not wearing an orange striped shirt, I'd like to have an orange striped shirt, please. So, ang ginagawa natin ay self-portrait. Have you ever done a self-portrait in your life? Well, maybe some of you have. How are you guys doing? Hi, Casey! So we can go back to coloring later, but let's continue with our project. What are we gonna do next? All right. Mine looks realistic. Wow, Germaine, that's amazing. Below the drawing, over here, dito sa ilalim, lagay natin ang iyong pangalan. Um, write my name, or you can also write in Pilipino, pangalan ko, my, I'm gonna make it bigger, my name. Uh, 
I hope I spell it right. Could you write that? My name. Hello, Kylie and Kim. Mitchell says I look like an adult. Whoa. Hello, Mac Silverio Hernandez. And then, write your name. I'm going to put Teacher Robert. Teacher is part of my name. Teacher. Am I drawing too fast? Teacher. So write your name, please. Can you do that? If you still can't write, you can ask help from an adult who's with you. Kapag hindi nyo kaya magsulat pa, pwede kayong humingi ng tulong sa mas ikatatanda yung mga yung yung uh, someone who's taking care of you like your dad or your mom Pearl says I put a viking hat Mateo is asking a full name yeah write your full name if you can write your full name go ahead Lara is still drawing herself go ahead Arya says, I look 16 years old in my drawing, even though she's 10. Hello, Devin and Daiji. All right. Have you written your name? And then, we'll continue writing, which means there's a bit of spelling, which makes Teacher Robert a bit... Nervous whenever they're spelling. Robert, you put your name. I'm gonna make it bigger again. Robert is from. So, what you can do is you can write, Where are you from? Where do you live? Your name is from. Teacher Robert is from Manila. So I'm going to put Manila over here. So if you're from the planet Saturn, put, put planet Saturn. Concentrate, Robert, or else you're going to spell things wrong again. Robert is from Manila. I'll put a period over here. So, write your name, sulat ninyo yung pangalan ninyo, at taga saan kayo. Ngayon, kapag kayo ay taga uh, Mercury, ang planetang Mercury, lagay, ako ay taga planet Mercury. Okay, did you get that? Did you get that? I'm from Manila, so I put Robert is from Manila. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Sab. Sab says, I'm from Manila too. Hey! That's amazing. We're from Manila. Hello, Max. Hello, Eileen. Carla says, my cousin is in Manila and I'm in Pampanga. Kat is asking where they were born. Um, I guess where you're from, you can choose whether where you're born or where you live. No problem. It's up to you. JC says, I don't think anybody lives in Saturn. How do you know? Well, maybe you know. I don't, I don't know personally. Hello, Bella, Nathan, and Mia from Marikina. Hello, Georgina and Jerusha from the planet of Kulit. Wow! Finally, I know someone from the planet Kulit. That's amazing! Hello, Stacy Queen from Pampanga. All right, after this, we'll put our age. Oh my goodness! Now you'll know how old Teacher Robert is. So many people ask how old I am. 
I am not ashamed of how old I am. I'm pretty proud of how old I am. So I'm writing my name. Robert is. Guess how old I am. Guess how old Teacher Robert is. Twelve? A hundred and fifty-eight? Six thousand two hundred fifty-four? Two? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, corn from San Mateo? Hello! Lexus is from Earth. Earth das Marinas. Wow, that's cool. Chloe is from Pluto. Robert is 56 years old. I'm so young. I'm so young I had to ask permission from my parents if I can come here to this crazy art party. Robert is 56 years old. I am so young. I think you guys are much older than me. I think all of you are older than me. I think I'm the youngest person over here. Hello, Liana. <laughs> Oh, Chloe, that's a lot of zeros. I can't even say how, what that figure is. So, ako ay 56 years old. Ako ay napakabata. Sa tingin ko, ako na yung pinakabata dito sa party na ito. Kayong lahat siguro mas matanda sa akin. Kaya naman ang gaganda ng trabaho ninyo. So, please write your name, sulat ninyo yung pangalan ninyo, at ano yung edad ninyo. Huwag na kayo mahiya kapag masyadong matanda ang mga edad ninyo. Don't be ashamed if you're so old. Okay? It's alright to be 4 years old. It's okay to be 10 or 8. Don't be ashamed. Okay? All right, eh? What's next? How are you guys doing? Are we doing it too fast? Are we doing it too slow? We've got a lot of work to do. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is... I'm going to write my name again. Robert... Is... Inspired. Do you know that word, inspired? Um, what is that in Filipino? Inspired. Inspired by. Sa Filipino, si Robert uh, ay yung sino ang sobra kong yung hinahangaan. Sino ang hinahangaan ninyo? Pwede siyang maging, pwede siyang manunulat, or artist, or illustrator. Who are you inspired by? It could be your favorite author, or illustrator, or artist, or whoever, okay? So, I wrote my name, Robert is inspired by... I'm going to tell you, okay? I'm going to write his name. Can you read his name? Robert is inspired by Calder. Hinahangaan kong artist si Calder. Actually, ang first name niya, Alexander Calder. So, maybe what you can do is you can write why you're inspired by whoever, whoever you wrote the name, what whoever, wh whoever name you wrote. Ako, idodrawing ko yung gawa ni Calder, ni Alexander Calder. 
gumagawa siya ng mga mobile. Oh my gosh, ang ganda-ganda ng kanyang trabaho. So magdo-drawing ako ng maliit na mobile dito kasi bilib na bilib ako sa kanyang trabaho. Maybe after this, you can take a look. You can Google his name. Alexander Calder. Take a look if you like his work. If you don't like his work, that's no problem. But I love his work. Alexander Calder. So, Robert is inspired by Calder. So, isulat niyo yung pangalan ninyo. Ang hinahangaan ko, si whoever. Pwede siyang manunulat, or artist, or whoever. Pwede rin tatay mo. Tapos, sulat nyo, bakit nyo hinahangaan? Hello, Sab. The mom of Sab likes Frida Kahlo, I think. Hello, darling. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? It's 10.48. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Naomi. Oh, Caesar says, I'm inspired by Teacher Robert. Are you really? There must be somebody else out there. Hello. Who is Lanky Box? Hi, Gianna and Calix. Mark Anthony. Okay, after this, what we're going to write, I'm going to put a 